another tag video. Uh, this Tuesday I'm going to do a concert book tag. This tag was originally created by, uh, as read by Brooke. Uh, and uh, I was tagged uh, by one of my uh, dearest booktube friends, Emily at Novel Novels. Thanks a lot, Emily, for tagging me. So let's get on with the questions. Question 1. Tickets. The most recent book you either bought or checked out from the library. I'm going to show the recent book that I checked uh, from my library. Uh, this is called uh, Sıfır Sayı by Umberto Eco. It is one of the last books uh, written by the author. Uh, it's a short historical fiction uh, novel. Check this book before, just before uh, the libraries were closed down. So I think this will be the uh, last book that I've checked from the library for a very long time. Interestingly, I could not find an English translation of this book. And the title can be translated as uh, number zero. Second question is crowd. Uh, a bookish community that you love can be real life or in a book. I mentioned uh, how booktube has become very important to me in many of the videos. Uh, so you all know uh, my uh, feelings for you, my dear friends. Uh, but this time I want to talk about uh, my book club uh, friends. I have been a, a mm. member of a book club uh, since, since the beginning of 2019 as well as reconnecting with some of my old school friends, high school friends. It has, it has also helped me to uh, show that uh, there are uh, people in, the, in my city who are as passionate uh, for reading books as I am. Uh, and additionally, uh, we also, I also went uh, to many theaters, operas and uh, cultural talks uh, with, uh, with them. Uh, so, uh, it, this community has not just helped me to uh, widen my horizons as regards to book, but it also helped me to widen my horizons as regards to uh, arts and cultural uh, events, which I uh, unfortunately ignored uh, for the last uh, three years. Uh, so uh, they are very precious to me. And uh, what are we doing right now since we cannot meet in? in our favorite restaurants and drink wine. Uh, we do online meetings. I'm going to put a picture of the uh, online meeting that we joined uh, here. And uh, it was such fun actually to talk about uh, the, the books uh, <laughs> while we were in, mar in our uh, sweatpants and pyjamas. So, <laughs> and we also uh, could talk uh, how we were doing and uh, and it was so important uh, to connect with uh, my dear friends in this time of self-isolation. Uh, and uh, I would advise you to try online uh, meetings uh, because it helped me a lot uh, while I was going through this uh, hard time of having to go to work. Uh, although I do not consider myself critical staff for uh, this virus. So I think we literally socialize from distance. Question three, sing along. Uh, a book that you quote every time you get the chance. Uh, even even before I read this book, I was uh, always quoting this uh, quote. And uh, last October, I read the book and uh, I sort of enjoyed it. A Tale of Two Cities by uh, Charles Dickens. Uh, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It's my favorite quote ever and this quote I think uh, includes many uh, many lessons uh, as regards to being hopeful and uh, optimistic at, at hard times. So maybe that's why I like it so much. The next question is sold out. Uh, a book that you are really looking forward to but you just haven't read. This time I'm going to mention a different book. The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. Um, when, when, when I was talking uh, to my friend uh, from UK, uh, which I hopefully plan to visit her in October this, of this year, but if not this year, uh, definitely next year. I don't know what the future will bring as regards to international traveling uh, at that time. Anyway, we were talking and uh, I talked about how I liked uh, 
The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And she said, Berna, actually, The Blind Assassin is much better book than uh, A Handmaid's Tale. And I was like, what? Then I had to read it. But uh, I don't know why I could not fit it in my TBR. But I plan to read it uh, before uh, going to UK. And the fifth question is the band. A book or book series you love that you wish everyone would read so you could fangirl about it together. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I think this series has many fans. His Dark Materials series by Philip Pullman. Uh, actually, we fangirled about it when we read the second book with uh, Emily, uh, Gaia and Charlie. There is another fangirl of this uh, series. Uh, just, uh, I will link all of their channels down below. And uh, she says that uh, I cannot wait to see what you would think about it. And I think we are doing that already. But, uh, you know, the more the merrier. Sixth, Anchor. A book that you wish had a sequel or a book series that you wish had just one book, one more book. Actually, I do not have such series because I'm satisfied with the series that I have read so far. But uh, I'm going to say a, a standalone, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. Uh, I think uh, the characters would have been uh, analyzed and uh, brought out to life much better if had, it had been a, a duology, because uh, it covers uh, so many characters in, uh, in a limited number of pages. When I read it with uh, Krista's read-along group, and many of the uh, members of that group thought the same as me. Uh, we could not identify with uh, most of the characters. Uh, I think I identified with, uh, with only one character after the second half of the book. So it was really hard for me to uh, finish it. Maybe if they had been described more and their feelings were shown more accurately by uh, using different uh, examples uh, than the ones in the book. Uh, maybe I would have liked it uh, much more. So I think the story of Pachinko would have been handled much better with, uh, with a duology. 7. Opening deck. Uh, a book that you weren't expecting to love as much as you did. Uh, another uh, Krista's read-along uh, group book. Uh, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Hahnemann. I have a confession to make about this uh, book. Uh, I only read this book because uh, Krista uh, chose this as her uh, read-along book. Uh, I would have never picked it because uh, I never thought that uh, I would like a contemporary so much. Eleanor was such a uh, interesting character. At first uh, I thought she was uh, unsympathetic but by the end of the book I just loved her and felt so much emotions for her and I had a new favorite character after reading this book, Raymond. I mean, Raymond was such a good friend, and uh, I wish we had more Raymond in our lives. Question 8. Merch table. One piece of bookish merch that you either own or want to own. Uh, I'm going to uh, show my latest uh, purchase, uh, the book sleeves. Uh, I really love this book sleeve, and I'm going to show this uh, with, with this uh, library book, uh, what I'm actually reading. Uh, so... Uh, this book sleeve, as you can see, this book sleeve uh, fits the book uh, with the colors. It was not a deliberate choice to uh, match this book because this is the book I'm currently reading. I uh, bought this uh, from a Turkish uh, supplier. I wish she had she was uh, working internationally so that uh, she could sell this these uh, lovely sleeves. Uh, as you can see, we put the book here and and we close it like this and we can put the uh, bookmark and there's a uh, there is another uh, pocket for for phones for cell phones but uh, since i'm recording in my phone i i'm sorry i would not be able to show this uh, to you but uh, we can put a pen and this is the back of this sleeve I just love uh, the combination of uh, white, black, and pink. I don't know, I just loved it. Question 9. Concert friend. A book that you bonded with someone over. <laughs> Actually, there are so many books that I want to talk about. 
uh, because uh, I bonded with all of my body reads. Uh, but for this tag, uh, I I wanted to uh, talk about the first body read that I did uh, and my first international experience as a Goodreads user and uh, just a booktube follower. Um, I did. Uh, I did body read uh, Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson with Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. Because it was my first body read, I did not know what to do. I let her control the body reading experience and she was so experienced and so lovely. I mean, she's a fantastic body reader as well as a very good friend. And uh, we connected so much with the book. Actually, uh, it was uh, one of my uh, first fantasy books. Uh, I think she read uh, a bit more than me, but uh, it's one of the uh, first fantasy books that she had read. And we loved the world building, we loved the writing style, we loved the characters, we loved some of the relationships, and uh, we felt uh, the almost the same uh, with the uh, exciting plot. But uh, this body reading experience had had taught me that sharing the love that you have for books uh, makes makes the experience much 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 more uh, joyful and uh, relaxing uh, and then uh, I started by reading with other booktubers uh, and uh, finally I decided to do my own channel uh, and I think uh, re body reading uh, Miss Moore uh, with Sarah has made the foundation step for all of this uh, wonderful uh, community that I, I currently belong to. And the last question is tour announcement. Uh, a book that you cannot wait to be released. Uh, as most of you know, I'm a backlist reader, so I do not have a book that I cannot wait to be released. To uh, talk about my real life author friend, uh, Dilge's uh, next book, she said that uh, she will, uh, she was in the process of writing the sequel to Mavi Yildiz, uh, which was a middle grade book that I liked very, very much. And uh, I cannot wait for her uh, new next book because I really enjoyed the characters in the in Mavi Yildiz I, and I really wonder what would happen to them. And lastly, uh, I want to tag uh, some booktubers. Uh, I'm going to tag uh, literary labors. One Sleepy Reader, Sky's Book Chat, and Samuel Dara. This was my concert book tag. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, giving answers to this tag. Even though I tagged uh, four booktubers, if you want to do this tag, uh, please consider yourself tagged. Also, please comment down below uh, about the book that you cannot wait to be released. Maybe I would be excited about some book. I don't know. If you are a new viewer, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. As for Turkish word of the day, uh, most of the time I do not choose uh, words that are very similar uh, in Turkish to English. But this time I want to make a change and choose concert for uh, Turkish word of the day. Concert means konser in Turkish and konser is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.